Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. Holy shit. That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Se eu botar a gente, será que... Não, eu não vou arriscar não. Rachel, that was more than yes. pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Oh, oh, oh. Você fica com o contrário. Well, Doc. Vamos começar pelo David, aquele filho da puta. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks he's moving in with us. <coughs> How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right, you're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's uh, a step dick because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, 
He's a dick. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Não, vai ser tudo pra mim, dedicado a mim, focado em mim, depois eu faço com ela. I've been booted from school and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Vou falar sobre o fogo, sobre peça que provavelmente vai estar relacionada à caminhonete ou à caminhonete. Vamos falar pelo fogo primeiro. Hey, chances are pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes. So, you know. Things are really looking up for us. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? I don't want to change the subject, now I'm going to talk about my You couldn't be <coughs> like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in.
Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. Para de estar com cara de rádiozinho de gado, que eu tô tendo até agora. <coughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Tá, depois. Time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Shack visitors. Yes, I need those. Resale tickets are now available to Seder members at theseder.com. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Depois eu espero muito bem. Deixa eu experimentar essas novas aqui. Ah, tá parecendo muito importante. Não curti não. Eu vou mudar aqui. Eu tô com meu otário esperando acontecer alguma coisa. Eu quero experimentar primeiro. Porque eu preciso deixar por último. Se for legal, eu já deixo nela. Aquela do corvo ali. Do corvo não, da cadeira. Do corvo foi o primeiro. Isso 
aí tá maneira. Simplesinha. E legal. Tô a parada daqui. Uhul. Eu já vi. Eu já vi. Eu já vi. Eu já vi. Eu saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. You're for sure. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Well, ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening. So Frank's a fellow survivor of the block. A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. Way out of my league. How about millions and all this? Are we uh, gonna have to prepare to evacuate in the next few days? I don't think it'll come to that. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way, sort of surrounding the northern part of Arcadia, oh, kind of but not advancing toward. Fight the power. Unusual indeed. What causes the fire to behave that way? I don't honestly know. Right now, we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. Scary. Well, there you have it, folks. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. That's an insane amount of beans. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Cara, eu não queria grafitar não, cara, porque tá sendo gente boa comigo. O problema é que eu vou ganhar uma triste I 
guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Part of a balanced breakfast. Who's gonna say BG? Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Frank got a puppy. For real? Ah, então ele não tem um cachorro ainda não, mano. Isso aqui é o que é uma confusão, ele tá rindo. Que merda, hein? Ah, man. Rachel, the therapist, would have a field day with this. an expensive dog. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Driving. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Yeah, no tem jeito. Tem que pegar o caderno dele. Vamos lá atrás. Fazer o quê? Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadour, get up here! Pompadour? You little killer. Frank finally gave up on the steak. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. A throne fit for... Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Wow. 
That pillow is definitely a swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this what I think it is? Ah, oh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Fight the power. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? <coughs> That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Caralho, que foda. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Uh, vamos lá. Para ver se desafio, blá 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 blá, isso aqui já tem ideia. Sabia mais ou menos. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Ah, é, tem tempo. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. So, uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. I'm so sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I... Forget it, Price. Over my dead body. If you don't tell me who she is, I'm just gonna assume you're dating. Or she's your boss. Or something else embarrassing. So... Are you gonna tell me who that was? Christ, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? <sighs> you don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. 
Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No, I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Cara, eu boto, o que eu ganho com isso é tipo minha dívida vai estar zerada com ele, eu acredito eu. Mas eu queria algo mais, eu queria saber sobre a mulher. Será que vai ter a opção de fazer, de fazer essa pergunta? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. <coughs> if you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay, with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. É. Correr a chip e ganhar sem prato, tá bom.